I think everybody needs to hear this. Abuja isn't safe. I want to repeat it again. Abuja is not safe. Please tell every man out there. Usually, it used to be that uh, women were the victim, but now men, they are targeting men as well. Abuja is not safe. At least, we are not talking about terrorism or gunmen kidnapping. We are talking about two major things that have been making headlines since for the past two months. We are talking about a prick snatching and also one chance. These are the two things now. Just imagine a man. Let me let me demonstrate it for you guys. In a public place, you might be walking, moving around, uh, trying to do your daily stuff, or maybe you are running to work, trying to meet up with work and office. And in this crowded place, there are people in that crowded place, women, men. Their daily job is to wake up in the morning. Go to, I don't know where they usually go, how they do it. Go to their native doctor, their babala will get some kind of a medicine. And uh, they go about snatching young men. Yeah. They go around snatching young men. Well, for those of you who don't understand, you might think that, oh, Snatching is like coming to you. Oh, how, how am I going to demonstrate this thing? Snatching is like coming to a man and carrying a knife to cut his, uh, his pecker. No. There are spirituality to do that without even cutting it. There are spirituality to do that without even cutting it. In fact, I'm going to interview someone that will tell you exactly how this thing goes. There are spirituality that involves it. Without cutting it, they will just take it. They will just take it. We have seen this status already. There are videos of people being caught. Woman caught snatching a man's own. Woman caught. Woman. Men caught snatching. Sometimes they will just uh, touch your shoulder. Or maybe just rub. Just, uh, uh, just touch you. you. Just touch you. Just touch you. Or maybe sometimes, say, they said now nah, they, they say you even make a call. Someone will call. Someone will make a call. Someone will approach you and say, "Oh, please, can you kindly help me? Uh, there is somebody here who wants to know exactly where I am. Can you please describe this this place to me?" And the person will hand the phone over to you. And if you are talking as a man, hello, yes, it's here. Your your pecker is gone. Your pecker is gone. Just by merely answering, picking the phone to assist someone who was stranded, to help him to look for help her, him or her to look for his uh, location. Your pecker is gone. Why some day we just use that to rob your trouser? Your pecker is gone. Then how? Okay, let me tell you now. How do you know if someone has snatched your pecker? Well, according to interviews that I've done, according to what I've had so far, you will feel something just left you. You know, that cold, shivering feeling will just move through your body. In fact, you won't be really feeling your pecker area anymore. Your waist down will be so numb. No, I'm not in a way. In the aspect that you cannot move, but you will feel that shiver like a cool thing just pass through you. Then you should raise alarm. And immediately you raise alarm. The, the last person you saw, the last person you assisted, the last person that asked you a question, immediately run after that person and hold him responsible. Shout. He don't carry my prick, or he don't carry a bomb. When I tell us, he make a return. A yes, people will gather. And surprisingly, they will return it. We have seen instances that people do not still believe that if it's possible, there are some spirituality on this heart eh, that are not 
that your head cannot comprehend. There are some techniques. There are some scientific, I don't know if it's science or if it's spirit. There are some really good things that is constructed to remove a man's consciousness without the man even knowing. Well, I'm going to read more on this because I do not really know the entire aspect of that because myself, I want to read more so that I will be extremely careful. I'm going to try as much as possible to do research. Search for a man. Go search for a man to explain to us how do they, how do people succeed in collecting people's pecker in public places? How do people succeed in collecting men's pecker in public places? Please be careful out there. No, be everybody get moved to, to move around in Abuja. It doesn't only happen in Abuja, in Lagos and too many other places in Nigeria as well. It was outside Nigeria. So if you are coming to Nigeria and you are going to market, I beg, make sure time to time you are touching your pecker to make sure it's alive. Always touch it to make sure it's alive. If not, before you know it, you will go home. It's going to be there. Let me say, for instance, uh, for instance, how am I going to? Okay. okay. Mm. For instance, how am I going to illustrate it? Okay, let me say, for instance, huh? your pecker is as big as this, hmm? like uh, as this, like this. Hmm? Your pecker is as big as the long, as big as this. Then, if it's collected, it will be with string. It will string, very string, and it just be like this. Be like this. And just like this, for a very long time, you won't be feeling it. It will just be done with like this. No, no, no bone, no uh, muscle on it again. That's where you know your pecker is gone. It's not as if the thing will be, will be cut off. No, you'll still be seeing it, all, but it will shrink. It will shrink. The, the, the spirituality holding it before, the spirituality that is making it as big as this, uh, because it's something marvelous. It's only God that can explain it. <laughs> yes. Scientists as, as well, we move from this to this. To this. Then you know your pecker is gone. So be careful out there. And please, just be careful out there. And again, let's talk about uh, the one chance. See, I've had people saying, eh, don't allow Nigeria to happen to me. But every day I pray that Nigeria should go up to me. I mean, Nigeria, and I love Nigeria, but Nigeria should go up to me. We have seen people losing their life, one chance driver. In fact, there was a video seen recently. One chance operator boldly carrying out one chance, uh, one chance operation in Abuja, FCT capital territory. So what they usually do is that when you enter a motor, please be careful. Now, before, it, it was usually all men. If you see a car, you see all men there. Do not enter. But nowadays, women are among. And they do not only target women. Women are the softer target, but they do target men as well. So it is very, very hard to know one chance drivers. It's very, very hard. Before you can easily detect, if you see men in the car, if you see men in the car, do not enter if you are a woman. Man as well, do not enter. That was before, but nowadays, women are among the one chance driver. You will see a car, you will see two women inside and two FT men inside. And of course, now you will feel happy to enter now. But we do not know. Even women are doing one chance. So please, be careful out there. Hmm? They will carry gun, they will drive you to a location, carry your property, slap you. I, 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 I do all sorts of things to you. If you are lucky, they will let you go. If you are not lucky, they will push you down. While the car is moving, high speed, they will push you down. They don't care. 
That is heartless. Extremely heartless. But they do do it. It's extremely heartless. But they do it anyway. So, those are the two trends now in Abuja. One chance drivers and greed snatchers. So, please be extremely careful not to fall in any of those traps. Please be careful. Protect your cucumber at all costs.